Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, June 4th. Yes, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. My email and the descriptions of the readings that I offer can be found in the description box below. Keep in mind, guys, that just because this is dated for June 4th doesn't mean it has to resonate on June 4th. It can resonate at any time with you. So whenever you are drawn to the message and it resonates with you, that is the message for you at that moment in time. Yeah? All right, guys. So, yeah. I think that's it. Let's just get to it. Let's just get straight to it and see what we've got for today. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, June 4th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Four shuffles. We're giving this four shuffles today. Okie jokey. For the collective morning coffee, Tuesday, June 4th. Um, I believe we had the new moon last night or yesterday <clears throat> in Gemini. I believe so. Three. I hope you all did well with that. <laughs> it was pretty chill for me, actually. Um, yeah, it was pretty chill. It was good, though. I enjoyed it. And four. I will say that... Um, a step was able to be taken in a new, well, in the right direction in like a, a way that I've been working on going for some time. And it actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, the, it's almost as if the new moon energy allowed this next step to be taken, which is really cool. And it kind of just falls right in line with the energies of the new moon and what it represented. That's really, I, that, wow. <laughs> okay. Last shuffle. All right, guys. Let's see what we've got. Tuesday, June 4th. Best messages, please, Spirit. What would you like to discuss today? Six of Wands. All right, now. Some victory here. Okay. Alrighty, underneath the deck we have, ah, the Ten of Wands. It seems that some sort of obstacle, um, some sort of burdens have been overcome, are being overcome, are being, yes, okay. This is good. So, for some of you already, I'm picking up here that, um, because you have the Six of Wands with the Page of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. It's as if you've either gotten to the point where you have released a bunch of burdens. And if that's the case, it feels like it's pretty fresh. You're still new out of this. Um, but, but victory has been has been gained. And with the Page of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, you're very much in the dreamer energy, but you're being very smart about it because whatever it is you're working on dreaming up now is juxtapositioned against what you experienced, where you've just come from, what you have just released from your life, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then for some of you, you're still kind of floating around. Mm, that's not the word I wanted to use. I wanted to say floundering around, trying to release some of these burdens, but you're using 
you've got faith, you've got confidence, you're about to, you're about to let it go. It's as if, you know, it's already happening. It's just, you're, you're working your way out of it. You're not completely out of it yet. Um, but you're still kind of in this dreamer energy of trying to figure out, yeah, look at the, oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> Excuse me, you're in the dreamer energy of trying to figure out how to create something new without the, without the drama, that's drama free. Whoa, and then looky here guys, you have the queen of swords with the three of swords and the king of cups in reverse. Now, many of you have been watching for some time and First of all, five, five, five on the counter. Second of all, the King of Cups has been coming out <clears throat> left and right all over the place. But it seems like some of you have actually released that King of Cups energy. Um, a narcissist I'm hearing, emotionally manipulative. Um, specifically though, this feels like an energy of, this King of Cups feels like someone that just kept going back and forth, didn't really know what they wanted or wasn't willing to settle down because in some cases they did actually have what they wanted but they were not but it's like it's almost as if they were like you they weren't ready for it they still wanted more time to play around or whatnot whatever and it's like well when are you ever really going to be ready that's the question <laughs> you know but they didn't want to they didn't want to see that but someone here, <clears throat> this is the energy of releasing those burdens. Queen of Swords, okay? Three of Swords in reverse, King of Cups in reverse. You're really leaving some sort of heartbreak behind, right? Um, and that really could be, then act, to be quite honest with you, that is right on par with the energy of what the f new moon represented. Excuse me. Um, leaving the past behind, leaving old toxic relationships, circumstances, situations, habits, whatnot, whatever, leaving all of that behind in order to make space. Now, it wasn't, this is not an official release period, okay? With the new moon is a time for manifesting. But in order to prepare for the new moon, you have the energies of the full moon in which that is prime time for you to really do some releasing, some soul searching, some purging. And so here you have that. If you are in a situation in which you have, like you're, you're releasing some sort of masculine energy or you're moving in a different, or you're, you're, basically the masculine and the feminine are heading in different directions here in some cases. I will say for some of you, you turning your back to a, to a king of cups in a way is helping is helping to change or adjust the situation is what i'm getting it's like you turning your back on someone's actions has helped them gain perspective is what i'm hearing and thus burdens on the relationship between the two of you are in the process of being released so for some of you it's it's not that you're going in opposite directions for some of you it's about um aligning yourselves releasing any heartbreak anything that would be toxic narcissistic manipulative or whatnot releasing any of that and moving in a different direction okay yeah, so for some of you, the Six of Wands here or the victory is um, getting over the hurdle of someone's some sort of like toxic behavior and being able to dream about the future 
from a clearer point of view, releasing without these burdens and from a place of, okay, where have I been? Where is this going? Where do I want to be? How do I not recreate the past? That's very good. That is very, very good. That's only for a select few of you. It does feel like on a, on a larger scale, it feels like there is a big release of individuals and for some of you, you're actively going in a separate direction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's okay. You're both on your paths. Doing your own things. And to be quite honest, this Queen of Swords energy here, well, actually, neither of them feel too bothered by it because they're all they're all they're all focused on their own thing, you know. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And if some of you are disappointed that the other person is not all that bothered by it, then really how? How queen of swords are you? How detached from the situation are you? It could be a level of spite here. It could be. But hey, I mean, it is what it is, right? You just gotta keep moving. Okay, hold on just a second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. So now let's get into some clarification here. But I do want to say that for the most part, this feels really positive. It feels really, really positive. This does feel like a victory. I mean, you have the Six of Wands here, sure, but it's just... For some of you, you have been you have successfully been able to release yourself from I'm hearing toxicity, codependency, narcissism. And so I'm getting that there's like new beginning that's coming, you know, especially with the new moon energy that we just came out of that's helping you manifest what you truly want here all right i'm gonna give this three shuffles and then we're gonna start with the top row just some clarity here okay last shuffle and i'm using I'm using, this is one of my favorite, oh shoot, this is one of my favorite decks, but this is the Tarot Illuminati deck. But look at here, look at what, what's underneath the deck. The Queen of Swords. And I'm hearing toxicity, codependency, narcissism in terms of the Queen of Swords. So it may be a situation in which you or the other person that you're, you're connecting with, um, whatever, is hyper aware of toxicity in and codependency in a relationship and it's just not having it okay just not even close to having it <laughs> like it feels like, 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 like it feels like the instant the instant that this queen of swords picks up on any sort of toxicity or codependency she shuts it down right away not even trying to not even trying to entertain it you guys <laughs> okay let's see what we get so we're going to start with the top row six of wands page of cups seven of pentacles just some clarity please spirit four of cups knight of wands nine of wands yeah yep 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 Underneath the deck is the lovers. Okay, so let's see what this is. Yep, five of cups, there is that. So 
what happens? What else do we have here? Ah, the King of Pentacles. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, this is heavy. Okay, so in the past, you had a missed opportunity and you had some sort of unrequited love. That was extremely disappointing. Four to the five of cups. Extremely disappointing. Um, but you guys f fought it for a while. You fought it for a while. And it's interesting. You have the nine of wands in reverse with the, with the knight of wands. I'm kind of getting a few different scenarios here. Either the first, at first, you have some of you... Maybe a majority of you in the past, you fought for the situation. You kept writing on, you kept trying, you kept persevering, you kept believing. And there's nothing wrong with believing, please. There is nothing wrong with believing. But at some point, you gave up that fight. Nine of Wands in reverse. But your Knight of Wands stayed upright. Because instead of fighting for this individual, this King of Pentacles here, who was very, yep, Toxic, codependent, narcissistic, materialistic, very much focused on finances, status, money, appearance, the opinions of others, whatever, however that resonates with you. Um, instead of fighting for this guy, you said, fuck that. I'm fighting for myself now. The lovers, you made a choice. You made a choice. And now you can ride on in a brand new direction, Ace of Wands. Feeling, I'm hearing, fancy free <laughs> with all the love in the world. Because it seems like through this situation, you have really learned to love yourself. And so, it, and it's funny because while you were in this nine of wands state, you were kind of keeping the situation going. It wasn't until you decided to let your guard down um, maybe, maybe admit some things, excuse me, admit some things to yourself, be honest with yourself, or at least allow yourself to look at things in a certain way that allowed you to stop the fight and finally bring this to completion, Ten of Wands. And now you get to move forward. Literally, I, I keep hearing fair, fancy free and careless. And... I would say be careful with the carelessness. Because <laughs> that's not necessarily, but it, without a care in the world. So maybe not care less, but just unburdened, free, obviously. Yes? Okay. All right. So now you have the Queen of Swords, Three of Swords in reverse, and the King of Cups in reverse. Let's get some clarity on that one, please, Spirit. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, wow. Oof, under, <laughs> good God, underneath the deck is the Two of Cups. All right, that's funny. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Hey now. So for some of you, you are, in fact, manifesting a new connection. Um, something that is way better. Okay. You have the Knight of Swords energy, which is Gemini energy. Ten of Pentacles, the Alchemist, or in other words, the Magician, the Ace of Swords. So you fought diligently. And the Knight of Swords energy here in this situation is in fact feeling like, um, like the the guard the guard dog or the body the bodyguard energy, the defend the, the defender the the offense. I'm sorry, the defense, not the offense. Um, specifically, defense, not offense. Um, coming to the defense of yourself, riding in, being your own knight in shining armor, we'll say. Um, which helped you to really complete a situation. Ten of Pentacles. To me, Ten of Pentacles, 
yes, it does uh, officially it does represent time, but also to me it rep in in terms of it representing time, it also represents lessons learned in my opinion. And so bringing some sort of situation to completion, some sort of karmic cycle to completion, some sort of life lesson to completion. And now you get to manifest something brand new from that point of view from that understanding from that epiphany that aha moment yes that's beautiful two of cups here so for some of you in some cases you may have had um a really strong bond with someone represented by the lovers, but that was really meant to teach you, to teach you, whoa, okay, the Page of Wands wants to come out too, um, was meant to teach you how to stick up for yourself, stand up for yourself, defend yourself, even love yourself more. And so now there is some sort of relationship that's coming through here. It doesn't have to be a major long-term relationship. It could turn into a long-term or like you could be together for a hot minute. But what the Two of Cups feels like is some sort of interim situation for some of you until the divine partnership comes back around. But all of that is in service of here, this Page of Wands energy embarking on a new creative journey uh, in a new creative direction having discovered more about yourself to me the page of wands is about self-discovery understanding yourself on a deeper level understanding your passions your desires and how and learning how to fulfill them better that's kind of cool <laughs> okay I mean, it seems like the, the, this new moon energy has really served well for a, a lot of you, a good chunk of you. And I say that's quite beautiful. Mm hmm Yep. <laughs> okay. So now let's get into your oracle guidance here. We're going to close out the reading with the Lightworker Oracle today. So, here, let's do it this way. Closing out this reading here for this new moon in Gemini energy that we're talking about. One last shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for today. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading. There it is. Card number 43, sixth ray of devotion. The sixth ray of devotion bestows the qualities of persistence, unwavering focus, and intensity of feeling. It is a gift of the strength to move mountains with your will for what you love. When the sixth ray of devotion appears, you are being given guidance that even if you do not seem to have much worldly power right now, the power of your beliefs can conquer obstacles. The Archangel Uriel helps you receive the blessing of the sixth ray now. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on, guys. Ah, yes. Okay. So I'm just going to read. I'm going to read these two paragraphs here. You are receiving a blessing of the sixth ray of devotion. It is serving your soul growth and will help you develop faith in your principles and trust in the power of your beliefs. 
you will be able to recognize and appreciate the extraordinary strength within you and realize that you have enough willpower to keep working towards your dream, overcoming any obstacle until you are divinely successful. The sixth ray reminds you of the power of love, which can conquer anything and everything. Love is an empowering, motivating force far stronger than fear. Love is the foundation of authentic spiritual devotion. Devotion to the divine empowers us to bear burdens, overcome obstacles, and manifest all manner of beautiful visions in a world that may at first assure us that our dream is not possible. The sixth ray blesses you with spiritual stubbornness and sacred rebellion against any odds. All right. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I hope you all have a really, really fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.